Hey everyone, today I wanted to go over some things, some questions that you guys have had and addressing some things that I didn't address previously that I feel like is the right time to do so now. It's kind of like about relationship stuff and talking to Damien about Kyle and I and stuff like that. So I guess I will start out with some, I guess, relationship things. I just want to say that Again, like with the Q&A with Kyle, I know a lot of people want to project like a lot of blame on me when it comes to Kyle and I. And once again, this was completely mutual and conversation that we have had for many years now. And it's not something that's new to us. And a lot of people had said, you know, this all happened because of my Mexico trip. Again, this has been going on for about three years. So we are far into this separation. And I just wanted to kind of preface this video with that. So Kyle and I are very open and honest and we have always had amazing communication between each other about everything and anything. And we have always been willing to communicate openly and honestly about tough situations and things that may not be necessarily nice to talk about, but we talk about them in a friendly and uh, civil manner. And we also, always want the best for each other. So I will say that for some time now, we have both been dabbling in outside relationships and I won't go t into too much detail on his part just because that's not my place but he has spoken to a few different women over the course of some time and none of them have kind of really worked out. And then myself, I have been consistently seeing someone since about beginning of November, it started out about once a week or so and then quickly progressed to seeing someone quite often. And I'm not going to go into detail on who this person is. I will state it is the same person that I went to Mexico with and to Quebec with but that's all I'm going to say. So I'm not going to dive too deep into my relationship with him, but I've had a lot of questions about, you know, if something doesn't work out and I don't end up, you know, getting to have another child with somebody else. I will say that with this person, he knows very well what my intentions are. I have never been one for quick flings. Um, I have been with Kyle half of my life and he knows that he has a lot of respect for Kyle and he knows the situation that I'm in and respects that I'm doing what I have to do right now with regards to Kyle and Damien he understands all of that but yeah this person does know my intentions over you know wanting a long-term relationship and hoping to have more children one day and the aspect with Damien being involved and all of that. And we've had many, many conversations around that topic. So that's all I'm gonna say on that. And I think that kind of leads into some people or at least one person caught in our camping video. Damien had mentioned Kyle or daddy's house and mommy's house and it had to do with like having his hamster and having like two different cages at two different houses. So the question was, has Kyle purchased a house? No, Kyle has not purchased the house. Neither of us can afford to purchase a home until this house is sold and that will not be happening again until uh, Kyle's dad and my parents move out and we are able to sell this house. But while we were camping, naturally, the conversation came up with Damien. I was sitting on the beach with him after he swam. Uh, he was drying off and a little cold and we were just sitting together on my chair and we were looking out and there was, this bug is super annoying. Anyways, <laughs> there was this boy, he was probably about 15 years old with a, I'm assuming his little brother, which was probably about three years old and they were playing together and I said something along the lines of like, hey dude, look, you'll be as old as this kid probably by the time I maybe have a next kid. And so we've had open conversation with Damien about daddy not wanting any more kids and he knows that, again, I have to find somebody that I love just as much as his daddy to have more babies. I said that to him 
and he came out and said I think you should have a baby this year and I said dude I really don't think that's going to happen but I'm working on it and he goes um well you know you should really have a baby before you're 35 because it's too risky and I'm like dude where did you hear that and he's like nanny says it can be dangerous after 35 to have a baby and I'm like oh well I'm only 32 so I have three more years and he goes well I really think in the next two years that or two or three years you should have a baby and I said okay dude we'll see hopefully I can but I can't guarantee anything so I said you know daddy doesn't want any more kids right so that means I can't have any more babies with daddy and he goes yeah and he I said I have to find somebody else to have babies with and he goes hmm well, I don't think Uncle Matt would want to and I said oh dude that it doesn't work that way I said you can't have babies with your relatives and he goes hmm well Joe is our cousin so that doesn't work and I said no dude that doesn't work and he goes well what about Jake and I said Jake and Amber and I'm like Jake and Amber and he goes yeah and I said no it doesn't work that way Jake is with Amber and he goes oh and he said something about what about and the guy that I'm seeing because he does know his name and he's seen pictures of him he does know that mummy you know goes over there every so often and so I said yeah that's a possibility and he goes I said maybe dude and he goes that's a good idea and I, <laughs> it was just like the most genuine innocent thing and so I said we'll see dude where this goes and he goes well after I buy my hamster I'm gonna save up money again and buy a car seat and a stroller and I said dude that's not your responsibility I said that's mommy's responsibility and I said whoever I have the baby with it'll be their responsibility too I said you don't have to pay for that and he goes but I want to <laughs> and he's like I know that we don't have a stroller and a car seat and I'm like dude I'll worry about that when the time comes don't worry yourself I said what you have to worry about is teaching them how to ride a bike and stuff fun stuff like that and so that's actually when he picked up his bike consistently and was like I gotta do this so it was kind of cool how it like encouraged him to get on his bike and and get really good at it so that's kind of fun that he encouraged himself almost by having this conversation and we did have this conversation that same time about if mummy has a baby with someone else that daddy no longer would be living with us and daddy would have his own house and mummy would have her own house and Damien would mostly be living with mummy but go to daddy's house too and I said if I have a baby with someone else then that someone else would live with us and he's like oh okay and he was totally cool with it and Kyle was actually sitting in the shade at that point when we weren't together and I knew very quickly on in the conversation where this kind of was going and so I asked him I said do you want daddy to come over and talk with us and he goes no it's okay I wasn't planning on having that conversation with Damien this early on but I think it happened naturally and I wanted it to be a flowing conversation I didn't want it to be a conversation where we had to like sit Damien down and say the house is going for sale now and like you know this is what's gonna be happening it just happened naturally it was an easy conversation to have he was open to it and it gives him some time to uh, process throughout the time being and now even he has brought up you know we were sitting at the dinner table one night and he said are we gonna have a, a big table like this or are we gonna have a small table and I said I don't know dude well it'll have either you know four or six chairs he said oh okay and he goes well so-and-so be my daddy and I said dude no daddy is your daddy he will always be your daddy and I said if this person you know is living with us he might be you, your stepdaddy and Kyle stepped in at that point too and kind of explained just so that he kind of understands and we kind of gave him an example of Uncle Matt and Sandra and the girls and he's like yeah I understand I get it so he's at the age now where he's understanding I don't think he quite fully understands but he's definitely getting the concept of it all and we're open for that conversation now and it can give him some time to process it all so yeah I just want to say those few things I felt like it was time to 
talk about it and because of that clip in that video you know so I didn't want to cut out that full clip of him talking about daddy's house and that and I knew people would catch it but I just wanted to say that everything is well and a lot of people you know were happy that Kyle and I could go camping together with Damien. Kyle and I will always remain civil with each other and friends and we will never ever be hostile to each other and we will always be included in everything that Damien does the hopes that you know we can all be a family one day you know a blended family you know Kyle and whatever he chooses and then me and whatever I choose we can all come together and support Damien and whoever else that ends up in the family and I will also just say that I have been really happy uh, lately I've been having a lot of fun opportunities come about um, and I feel like not only has this person that I've been seeing help create these opportunities but I've been allowing myself to to experience different things and open my mind to new things that I never would have previously and again that comes with spending time away from Damien and and I will say that Damien has never really met this person formally I guess Damien is well aware of who this person is and eventually that will come in time and this person is very what is the word that I'm looking for be very very careful about spending time or getting to know Damien just because of this situation that we're in I truly feel like he wants to wait until Kyle and I have sold the house and we are on our own separately and we can start this relationship with Damien separately it is a very complicated situation from an adult perspective I think from a child's perspective it's a lot different they will you know fall in love with probably whoever you fall in love with and I would never put Damien in harm's way mentally or anything like that and I think this person will be a very good fit one day and I hope that it can be soon but I know that this person wants to also be very careful as do I so yeah that's kind of where we're at I figured I would do this little bit of a Q&A update addressing a few things and oh and that's so the the other thing I wanted to talk about is coming up on the 9th Kyle is actually going to be spending I think it's five nights four nights away by himself um, he's going away on like a little trip he's not flying anywhere but he is going away and staying in a hotel and getting some time by himself which I think will be really good for him and also after that I'm hoping to do something as well but I, while Kyle is away I have booked a couple nights camping for just dude and I so that'll be interesting it'll be my first time going camping with dude alone so it'll be interesting to see not that I haven't ever pulled a trailer or backed in a trailer but having another adult present to help back in and that type of thing uh, makes it a lot easier obviously but I do know that moving forward I do want to be able to do these things alone with Damien we're gonna test that out I'm not gonna take the dogs they're gonna stay here with nanny and papa but it'll be dude and I and hopefully we can have some fun camping so I'll be vlogging all of that of course and then hopefully after Kyle gets home and if I do something I'll be vlogging that too so I'm super excited for the next upcoming week or so and yeah so if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments below I'll be sure to answer them always eventually and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see you very soon bye guys